family, I'm back again. Get your pen and paper. All right, disclaimer guys, regardless of the color, creed, sexual orientation or religious denomination, now this topic, let me clarify the myth of Ethiopia is not being colonized. Because a lot of people, I've heard, I've heard the Rastafari's, I've heard the educated people, non-educated people talk about Ethiopia is not colonized. But now, let me clarify this myth again guys, because a lot of rumours get spread out in the internet and also people write a lot of things about that. But the truth, this is far from the truth. Ethiopia was colonised and the coloniser was Italy. Italy colonised Ethiopia for a long time. Long, 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 long time. And the proof is the last king of Ethiopia, which is Victor Emmanuel III, when he took over from his, his father, took over in 1936. So, but then... After after a bit of time, he gave it over. He didn't. He didn't even just. He gave over that, that 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 the whole thing to Emperor Selassie, Haile Selassie. So you have to understand that. So Ethiopia is being colonized and it's still colonized, but people never really knew that and they don't know what is going on. But people keep spreading rumors and say Ethiopia is not being colonized, but it has. So look it up, guys. Victor Emmanuel the third was the last emperor of Ethiopia. He's Italian, he was, he's of Albanian descent as well. When he took over the kingdom of, who uh, was also the king of Albania and the king of kingdom of Italy, uh, yeah? So he's been almost for 40 years on that time, but then he resigned and gave it over. That's why I got to say to you guys, so educate yourself please, uh, Rastafari and non-educated people. Anyone tells you that from now, to, now on, Ethiopia is not colonized. He is a lying person or somebody that is miseducated and ignorant. Alright family, go learn something, wake up.